Hi, welcome back to my channel, Ren Country Sticks, and welcome back to uh, what will be part five now, I think, of um, making a um, woodcock thumbstick. It's been a bit since uh, we made a video, I've not been too well, so I've had to uh, lay off the stick making. We've also had to finish this uh, Ramzan crop for a customer, and um, this, in theory, will be the last commissioned Ramzan crook I'm going to make. If I make any others, it'll be for myself and for the website. Um, customers can buy off the website, but I don't want to take any more commissions for Ramsor. But um, this is a, another carved heel with a border collie painted on uh, one side. Uh, the dog's name, Rue, on there. And uh, a nice shank. So uh, we're quite happy with that. So um, we need to be getting on with this... Um, thumbstick now and I've done a wee bit of work on it um, just a bit of filing with um, some um, round files and um, a quick experimentation with uh, taking material off this um, off, off this head and I like to use things that take material off quick um, I'm getting on a bit in, in old age and you've got to make the best of your time so we've just experimented and we've used the old um, grinder now, uh, you've got to be a bit careful, don't take too much of a time, off at one time and uh, keep checking. So, we've taken a bit off there and uh, we'll do a bit on this side now. I don't think we're going to show you every single minute of doing this because the videos get very, very, very long and um, I think quite honestly, it could be a bit boring when you see me just filing away and filing away, you know, um, hour after hour. But uh, we'll certainly give you all the basic steps. Now, one of the things I've done, and I keep telling you, you need, you need references. So I've got myself a few photographs of uh, woodcock. Now, we're not going to be carving uh, an absolutely realistic woodcock, but we'd like to do it um, some kind of service. So if you've got things like this for a reference, then, um, as I say, you can sort of, work towards that or work with that so there we go so as i say what we're going to do now is we've already taken a wee bit often you can see there we've just taken we're going to do the same on the other side and uh, we'll let you see um, how we do that so again whether i did it this way on the previous ones i have no idea i can't remember but um, i like to take material off quickly so we're going to try this And again, you should be wearing a dust mask. Now we keep taking a bit off um, each side of the head until we get it uh, nicely balanced and we're happy with what we've got. Now we have got centres marked on these heads where the beaks are going to go so um, we can sort of work towards that and we've got a little Probably what, 316 out of the side of that centre line. So we're, we're working to pencil marks.
So that's not bad. Now, what I've always done with these is that as you come across there, that beak lies against that head, the opposite head. And I've always put a wee bit of a, let's call it a channel in there for the opposing beak to lie in. Now, there's a good reason for doing that. Um, it gives you wouldn't you, you either your wood or your home beat, whichever you're going to make, another anchor point because we're going to drill into these heads and we're going to sink the beak in. But also, if it runs along a, a little channel there and can be glued in, it's another anchor point. So, as I say, you may be practical about these things. Uh, people are going to use these sticks, they're going to get knocked about a bit. Uh, things are getting get caught in the in the beaks, so um, you've got to give your your creation a chance of survival. So uh, well, there we go. So you can see now we've taken some material off, and we've just used that uh, angle grinder. Um, we've got to decide how we're going to carve this because when you look at a lot of these pictures. The woodcock appears to have a bit of a flattish forehead. Um, it's not evident in all pictures and probably, you know, not all woodcock are the same. Um, so decide what you want. You see, that one's got a very flat head at the top there. And this one's quite nice and rounded. So, as I say, whichever way you want to go. But use something to guide you. Um, so we're going to decide what we're going to do now. Now the other thing of course is that um, these birds are sat and they're, they're, they're tucked in. Um, our woodcock uh, standing proud let's say but you've still got these areas here blending in. So look at all that, start carving these heads and uh, try and replicate what you see. Right, so the next thing I've done is just mark where I think these channels are going to be. And all I've done is taken a pencil and just run them along the head there just to try and get the angle I want. Um, and I've done that on both sides, so just two guide marks. Um, you'd have to stick to it absolutely, you know, uh, religiously, but it's just to give you a rough guide. Now, I'm going to use those as a guide when I'm drilling into these heads. So the next thing now is just to do some little pilot holes and then slowly um, work into the head with some uh, progressively larger drill bits uh, and using these two marks here um, as a guide because when, when we make our beaks we're going to have um, let's say a round peg on the end which will fit into that head. So that's the next thing. I'm just going to sort myself out with some drills and things so there's no point in just sitting around watching me do that. We'll be back in a minute. So I've started myself off there um, and you can see them very well. A couple of holes. Um, now we need to start uh, using bigger drill bits.
that's just a little uh, ball burr I'm using just to clean up the edges what I like is uh, something else to blow in and maybe just deepen that hole a bit no, that's not bad actually Yeah. So we've got two holes there, they're about three eighths deep. And you can see in this, uh, right there, you're going to see that one. So that's our peg hole for the uh, for the beak. Um, I think with a bit of super glue, you don't really need to go that much deeper with that. Um, we can start tidying these heads up now and getting a bit of uh, shape and rounding things off. There is one thing I've uh, omitted to say, and uh, we've had uh, quite a few new subscribers. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you learned something. Um, now I may have lost some of you because I've had a, a new mobile and I think I've lost some of my emails. But we've got uh, Elliot Cross, welcome. Andy Rog 007. Um, Herky Nut. These are all real names. And uh, Andrew Telford. So welcome to um, Rank Country Sticks. Keep watching and um, if you've got stuff, as I say, make your own videos. We're, we're all willing to learn. I've got plenty to learn. So, okay, um, what are we going to do next? Well, I think basically just start rounding off these heads a wee bit, uh, taking some of these sharp corners off and um, just try and get it looking uh, a little bit more like now, the one thing we haven't done yet is put the eyes in, and I had this template up here, it's got a bit of paper on here, um, and I did put the eyes in when it was first a blank, and we've lost those. Now, you can see there, a little bit of cardboard, um, but if you do these things, you've always got a reference, you can always come back, and it saves you work in the future. So. Um, Use our little uh, template, mark the eyes up. Now obviously you don't have to stick to these marks religiously because if you mark these things up and they don't look right to you, change them. You know they say, if it looks right, it is right. Um, so uh, there you go. Okay, so we've got little dots in now for the eyes, and to me, that's a bit far back. Um, again, that's where you, your pictures can be uh, very useful, and the sort of thing you want to do really is uh, you don't have to measure stuff but use proportions. So if you take sort of that distance from where the beak is to the back of the head um, see where the centre of the eye is um, try and reproduce that on your, uh, your carving then uh, it shouldn't be too bad so working off that yeah, we could be right at that you never know things always look different when you get the glass eyes in yeah we might leave it at that so okay we're going to do a bit of rounding off now. I think what I might do is just use a little um, sanding disc.
There we go. Time for our medication. I'll just switch this off. When you get to my age, you've got to take medication. Keeps you going. At this point I don't want to take too much off the bottom here because I want the beaks in and then once I get that sorted it sorted out um, we can start blending that bottom in with the beaks. So the main thing is just to take these square edges uh, off, off the top.
Now we're going to take a chance and just put some little holes in where we've marked these eyes and I'm hoping that they're going to look right. I've not gone in deep, it's just there to mark it. Um, we'll carry on later on with that. One of the problems with having um, these heads offset, you can't always get in where you want to get in.
Right, I think that's enough for today. Um, I'm going to get my medication. We'll do some um, sanding of this, wet and dry. Um, not quite looking right to me. And we need to take some more bulk off uh, the backs of these heads here. And there's quite a bit wants to come off. And that's the thing. Once you turn it off, you can't put it back, so you've got to be a bit careful. And once we start getting the beaks in, um, things will start looking a little bit more realistic. So that's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and uh, as soon as we can, we'll get on to the next bit. Thank you. Goodbye.